Today in this video, we're going to be doing some FE civil review, and we're specifically going to be looking into ethics and professional practice. Now, this is very important because some of the concepts that I'll be going over is fairly new and material um, and is very important in order for you to pass this exam. So I don't want to take a bunch of time. I want to get straight into the problems. I'm going to make myself a bit smaller and we're going to dive right in. Okay, so for this exam, uh, it's always best to make sure that you know the right things to study. So first, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have checked out um, what concepts are going to be tested on this exam. All right. And underneath the ethics and uh, professional practice, um, we have licensure and contracts. If you have not checked out my video on code of ethics and professional liability, please check out those some good practice problems um, there. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I have created videos for each concept, literally each concept on this exam so that you pass the first try. Took me three times. So yeah, I don't want you to have to go through that. <laughs> If you don't have to. All right. So let's start with our first practice problem on licensure. And hopefully you can see this. And uh, yeah, let's just let's just start. So uh, this one says licensees uh, shall make a reasonable effort to inform another licensee whose work is believed to contain a material discrepancy, error, or omission that may impact the health, safety, or blank. So, or confidence, or trust, or welfare, or good standing. So, these seem like all good terms, all right? And the cool thing about the FE exam is they really don't try to trick you necessarily. You just have to be really familiar with your FE handbook. And so, um, although this question is a very simple question, if you're not familiar with your FE handbook, you are going to guess and get this question wrong. And we want to get as many questions as we can right. So I'm just looking at this. I'm like, could I use my FE handbook? Well, maybe. So I'm just going to type in, let's just do health, uh, comma, safety. Hmm. All right. So there are nine things that have exact matches and you can do this on the exam. You can literally search uh, through this long 502 page PDF and get the information that you need. So, okay. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out here. So this looks like environmental, which is not what we're doing. We're civil mechanical. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing I don't know if you can see this. Oop. All right. So safeguard uh, the health, safety and welfare. I'm saying this is under rules to safeguard licensees uh, or omission that may impact. So the health, safety. So I'm, I'm I keep seeing health, safety and welfare. All right. I'm just going to keep going. Those were four right there. Uh, okay. Or omission that uh, may impact the health safety. Licensee shall be respond. Uh, a reasonable effort to inform another. So, bam, looks like we found it. All right. The answer is uh, or welfare of the public unless uh, such reporting is legally prohibited. Now, this question seems like. 
how you would you might would ask why would they put you know the whole answer in the FE handbook, but they literally do this on multiple occasions. But sometimes if you don't have this mindset of using your FE handbook, you can just kind of get overwhelmed and not properly use your resources. So the FE handbook makes it very, very easy. You just have to search and find what you're looking for. So as you notice, I didn't just of the first, you know, two two fines i kept seeing health safety and welfare and if you're in a rush okay cool you see welfare the most so you're probably like yeah but i took that extra step um and found exactly you know what i was looking for so yeah so hopefully that was helpful again if you're finding some value out of this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel um, it's going to let you know that this is actually valuable content and I want you all to pass this exam um, on your first try. All right. So let's get into the contracts and law problem that I have. And I just want to emphasize they are not trying to trick you. This exam is not meant to trick. All right. It's, it's literally meant for you to use the resources that you have. All right, so this one says, what is a form of protection provided uh, to the authors of original works of authorship? Hmm. Patents, trademarks, copyright, trade secrets. When I think of this, and everyone's thought process is different, right? When you're on it, when you're taking this test, all these emotions are going on. So my initial thought process is, I've heard of kind of trademarks, copyright and patents, haven't really heard of trade secrets. So I don't know, right? I really don't know. Um, I'm gonna see if my manual can help me, right? So. I'm just going to do form of protection. All right. A copyright is a form of protection provided to the authors of original works of authorship. All right. So we know that it's copyright. Um, but again, that was easy, right? It, it was easy once we found it in the FE handbook, that's, this is the crucial part of the concept. You must use your FE manual to your advantage. Um, and I, I want to also stress, go through this ethics and professional practice because they do have a definition section, right? Where they talk about what the board is, what um, a firm is, what technically a, engineer is right and the, this is um very very crucial stuff and i want i had one other practice problem so if i can get it in here pretty quickly i'm gonna go ahead and do that um but if not i may have to throw it on maybe another another video contracts licensure Hmm. See what this one is. Nope. Already went over that in a previous video. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's looking like I'm, um, may have to bring it up in the next video, but hopefully this uh, content was very, very helpful for you. Um, listen, I am excited about you. Um, either retaking this exam or taking it for your first try. Um, I want you all to do the best um, that you can and to go ahead and knock this thing out so you all can start making more money, have better experience, and ultimately uh, build your career, right? Um, so the next, the next video that I will be doing um, 
we will be moving over to engineering economics and we'll be discussing time value of money and a uh, cost. So I'm going to be going through and as you can see, this this section is going to have about five to eight questions. So um, like I said, hopefully this was helpful. If you have not checked out uh, the mathematics and statistics section that was uh, a lot of valuable stuff especially for the this for can't talk today for the statistics and the uh, vector operations um, that was some really good stuff in there hopefully this was helpful and we're going to tackle engineering economics be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next video for engineering economics peace